and welcome to Let's Play Remember Me. I'm Count Zero, and we are unlocking a new combo pressin' thing. Basically, pressins are the term for the buttons that you can enter in your combo string. We have currently here extra damage and regeneration. We also get cooldown for our powers later on and ones which leak into the one that is directly before it, boosting its power, and so forth and so on. So, we only got one place to put that, so we'll put it there and turn our other three-hit combo into a four-hit combo. Ready? So, one thing I forgot to mention the last two episodes, I am recording this voiceover after I've actually recorded the gameplay, just to tell my setup works. I don't need, he don't need healing right now. Um, Alright. Keep thinking it's X instead of circle. Alright, so... Good. Get off of me! Alright, so yeah, see, we have our first platform section with an obstacle we'll to get through here fairly fast before the steam starts up. So I think of dealing with the time thing there. Anyway, we're putting this over after the fact. Run! Run! Flash! Give me your face! Your face! I've lost face! What? Bad child! I, I lied! The flies are eating me! Oh! Ooh, that's. He's charming. So, understand, part of the idea with the Leapers is that they've be basically addicted, addicted to memory sharing through Sensen, and they're losing sense of their own identities. My guess is, is the blotchy skin being sort of an amalgamation of, of African skin pigmentation, of the sort of darker African skin pigmentation, and European lighter skin pigmentation. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah, this fight is hard to deal with. Um, is somehow a manifestation of that, I think. Of course, there's no real text in this, really, in terms of the scientific explanation for this, that I can really go with. So, yeah, so yeah, like in this fight, certain enemies have um, resistances to certain types of attacks. So you need power attacks to get through the Made their um, put, get breakthroughs guard, and then later on, those enemies can only be defeated through taking out their special through using certain special powers. Um, so, the, well, so here we just put the focus on combos that have the uh, enhance the, the power hits. While later on, when we are thinking the enemies who have to be beaten using special powers, we'll have to focus on combos that use cooldown presses. Just be at the time until those attacks are available. Oh. 
Yeah, this is definitely a fight where the com where the combo system and its flaws really shows show up. Because what I need to be doing is hitting my next attack button when the combo on the bottom the little circle lights up and shows where you can just hit. But at the same time, I also need to be paying attention to for the attack displays from the enemies around me. A similar sort of stuff. And with the leapers in here, this also means that I need to be in leaper attacks displays from the enemies on the ground, and ones coming from off screen. Because you know, they'll, they'll show up if the leapers off screen is going to attack you. There'll be something from the direction they're coming from showing that the attack is coming. But. The leapers are attacking citizens. Leapers were citizens. All right. I'll believe you. Come on, move it. Tommy's waiting for you at the leaking brain. But, yeah, it, it makes it kind of difficult in terms of all the information you have to manage at once in several different, coming from several different directions and with several different degrees of priority. It's still an interesting idea for ha for handling combat. And I like some of what the game has to offer with how it does brawling. And it does it does put some real thought into how combat's going to be designed. Huh. There's blocking off an earlier area. Uh-huh. Wow, there's some dystopian blade lies. I guess one of the only advantages for having a um, technology where you can rewrite memories is you can make it so people don't observe or don't remember um, certain things that they might find distasteful. Makes it gives a whole new meaning to the thought of double, uh, double talk, like Orwell's 1984. Also gives a whole new meaning to the sort of rewriting of history from Orwell in 1984. Cross the floating market to that warehouse. It's a shortcut to Tommy's bar. Yeah, it's another Tommy's bar. That's the tale they tell. And you get a no prize if you get the reference there. I'll give you a hint. It's to a progressive rock band. They'll let anyone into this district. Well, considering this is the slums, yeah. I don't think that this is the story of people. Okay, I admit I look like I just came out of prison because I just came out of prison. But you couldn't be as much. You could be less of a jerk about it. Try somewhere else. Even the street. Man is old fashioned. I do like she that, that she discusses that and references that references that. I'm not interested. Normally characters in these games don't mention the passing dialogue. Ooh, Memesis. Let's see what this one has. Oh, 
enemy information, tips for fighting them later. So the um, Espressons, which we'll come to later, those are the special abilities. Hmm. It's interesting a number of people on the feud list who did not remember Edge in terms of that he's a person who is politically involved. I guess it kind of plays into the whole thing of people getting erased from the system. I do wonder, uh, I do wonder if those numbers change as we go through the game. I do think Microsoft is more visible. I'm not sure where that one is. I don't think I pick up that one. I might be... I can play down at the right over there, but I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'll go there to pick it up. So, oh well. Ah! I just got my first espresso! Nope. I can't do This is the uh, denial of service attack espresso. Um. We don't actually unlock. Ooh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. Um, what was that thing? That's a good sign, sister. With time, other memories will come back. We don't actually get to use that at will yet, but later on, we'll get to use it as much as we want later. You're almost there. Follow Tommy's flying drones to his bar. Well, I guess Amazon's delivery drones got caught on. It was actually kind of slightly prescient. Um, that's a rather nice uh, likeness of my of Nilan. Of course, from the concept art, but still. Give me a memory, man. Anything will do. Just need a fix. My last one. Alright, that's like, it's a pretty good explanation of how the sort of remember techno remember nice shot, addiction thing is caught on or how that, how that works. People in bad situations just want to feel something happy, so try and so buy happy memories, even if they're not really theirs. Alright, so... This is a timed bit. Get this first try. Yep. Close call, though. Kind of, not really. A couple of later ones of these would be trickier. Talk to building codes about this. Don't stop, Lily. Stop. Well, no going back. And no going up. All right, here we are at the bottom. Well, up or down? Let's go down so we have. Ah! Another Memesis pickup. First memorial accident. 
This one in particular, most people had wiped out from their memory, or did not have in their memory. Kind of like, I guess, the memory equivalent of contamin of um, blood supplies being contaminated with HIV. Interesting. And this is as good a place as any to wrap up this installment, so I'll see you all next time.